this is a portable MRI, and there, there's the images that are happening in real time, hyperfine, this thing is called, and it's super tiny. It's like a, I don't know, like a really big oil drum size. What's the, uh, what's the scoop on this thing? And this is, this is Brian. I'm a clinical scientist with Hyperfine. Uh, so at Hyperfine, we've existed for five years. This is our public launch. Uh, and, uh, and over that time, they've been redesigning an MRI system from the ground up. So everything is self-contained in what you're seeing on the video. All the electronics are contained below. It just needs a normal power outlet. No special power requirements. Is a permanent magnet, low field magnet. Doesn't need cryogens or liquid cooling. So very low cost of maintenance. It uh, doesn't need a special room. Like a normal MRI, we have technology that removes all the interferences. The EM right, right. This scan is in progress, and you and I covered with metal, and this phone are right next to it. We're just a few feet away. Because it's a low-strength magnet, we can be much closer to the magnet without any risk to us. Um, and in general, it's going to be safer for patients. You just still have to observe any other uh, safety precautions for the specific implants they might have. But in general, it's much more compatible with more people and, and what might be in their body. Uh, the trade-off is that our images are not as high spatial resolution as others. There we go. There's some images going on right there, super close-ups. And I just point out, that's only halfway through that scan. So as it completes, that real-time reconstruction will get crisper and crisper and show you better quality images. If you were to look at our, our slide over here, you're seeing there we go. our images compared to high field. And I think what you'll notice is that we are able to see all these pathologies, subdural hemorrhage, uh, a interventricular hemorrhage, ruptured aneurysm, and then uh, some ischemic injuries uh, on this side. Here are the, the high-field images from three Tesla of those same uh, patients. And the high-field images are higher resolution, but we see the same things. And uh, what's one of these puppies go for? We are pending 510K clearance, so we can't discuss price. Uh, but what we're able to tell people is think on the order of a cart-based ultrasound system. Uh, of that magnitude, uh, much cheaper than you would think. And we are pending clearance, uh, should have clearance sometime in early 2020. So these little community shops and remote places that don't have an MRI now and you have to ship people out, maybe for the cost of one helicopter ride, you can actually just own the machine. Yes, yeah, in fact, we've heard that th those stories about the remote settings in Alaska where for emergent MRI, it costs tens of thousands of dollars and it wouldn't be very long until you've paid for a system like ours. We want to support places that have limited access to MRI. We really want to take MRI any place, anytime, anywhere uh, to those people who need it, where they need it, instead of having them having to come to the uh, machine itself. I'm just going to show you. We got things happening here. All right. I'm show you some of where our 510K clearance is for the brain, but we've also done babies as young as three months, uh, foot ankle, uh, there's a diabetic foot ulcer there. Uh, this is a healthy knee scan. And uh, neck and cervical spine are some of the works in progress that we have uh, going. So you can see a lot of the vertebrae and the soft tissue, the, the spine. So uh, this is just the tip of the iceberg for us. We're starting with brain, but we're going to be moving to other parts of the body.